Welcome to Excel Manager Trick number 153. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Manager Trick 146 to 154. Hey, in Trick 153, we're going to have to see how to calculate commission pays three different ways, and then use conditional formatting to always see which one is the max. Now, here's the first uh, one here. It's piecework. We get paid 96 cents per boomerang, and we made 75 boomerangs in this day. So we'll do a formula here. By the way, I've linked. The, this is input data, but this cell is looking at that 75. That way we can compare the plans. And this 75 for this third plan is also looking up there. So anytime I change this um, input here to, say, 50, then these other plans get the same uh, number made. Now let's do our formula right here equals round, and I'm using round because uh, we are dealing with pennies and payment here, times. So the, the piecework rate is just, hey, you get 96 uh, cents for uh, every boomerang you made. And that's the cell with the boomerang, so that we made them 50 of them. So comma 2, that rounds it to the penny, and then close parentheses and enter. So 48 bucks. Now the next one is commissions. So you get commission rate for uh, each boomerang made, 50 cents, but you get a base pay. So you always get 50 and then 50 cents for each boomerang too. So even if you made zero, you still get 50. So we'll do equals round, and we're doing 50 plus, and now this uh, incentive to make more boomerangs, 50 cents times uh, the number of boomerangs you made comma, two, close parentheses, uh, and then enter. So there, that one's $75. And that makes sense because 50 bucks base plus uh, 50 cents um, for 50 boomerangs, that's an extra 25 bucks. Now, finally, this one, we have a number of boomerangs. The hurdle is 100. And this would probably be more typical than this because you don't want to get paid 50 bucks for nothing made. However, if it's easy to make 50 in a day, then you, this, this might be OK. But this is a bonus plan. You're only going to get this extra 75 cents per, for boomerangs if you make more than 100. The base pay for the day is 100 bucks. And here's how many we made. So equals round. And we're going to say our base pay plus, and now we're going to have to do an if. If uh, this right here, that's the number we made is greater than this one. So if the number we made is greater than the hurdle, then what do we want? Well, we're going to get uh, the difference between the two. So in parentheses, we have to say this minus this times our 75 cents. So that's the if was the test, and that's the logical test if true. Otherwise, zero. Close parentheses. Now we have to get back to the the round. We were adding up that plus some condition on whether we make a hundred or not. So now we get number of digits, which is comma two. That's rounding to the penny. Close parentheses. Okay, so we can eye this and see 48, 75, 100. This one's obviously. Uh, the best deal. Now, let's do conditional formatting. I'm going to click here, here, and here. And we want to do conditional formatting. So I've highlighted all three of those. And how did I do that? I clicked on this cell and held Control, and then click there. And then I'm still holding Control and click there. Conditional formatting is Home, Styles, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Or in 2003, you go to the Formatting menu and then Conditional Formatting, or the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt-O-D. Alt-O-D. And then you click on New. I'm going to click Delete here. I didn't mean to have that roll. I click New, and then Use Formula. Now, in 2003, you have to, in the dialog box that pops up, you have to select the first text box and select Formula Is. All right, and what we want is we want this cell. Remember, those cells are highlighted. Oh, and this is the active cell. That's a very important conditional formatting. If you start here, uh, 
won't work it occasionally will but most of the times it will not in a true false format so we need to know where the active cell is so there it is so I'm going to click there and then hit F4 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 to get rid of the dollar signs that's why when we hit OK it'll apply to all of them and it will always be comparing whatever the cell is and that's got to equal and then MAX open parentheses this comma this comma this so this true false is whenever the cell is equal to the max and now we'll do format and why don't we do uh, a uh, green more colors I'm gonna click on this green right here click OK and we also could do number format now we don't need number format it's already got number format how about font how about an underline how about a double underline and then click OK. So there it is. That's the conditional format. And then click OK. And then click OK. Sure enough, there it is. Now we could change these. 100, uh, or no, 75. Looks like this one's going to beat it every time. 125. Oh, wait a second. Look at that. So yeah, maybe this one is a better one. Let's try a different one, uh, 150. Oh yeah, it depends on how many you can make. If you really can only max out at 50 or 75 a day, then uh, you as an employee would pick this one, right? But if you could think you can make 110 or 120, maybe you would pick this one. So that was a, uh, a example of different uh, pay plans and using conditional formatting to immediately highlight the max. All right, we'll see you next trick.